Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Best and Intuitive Tarot. And in this reading, I'm taking a look at Virgo's love life for the week of July 14th to the 20th. However, my readings are timeless and time is fluid. If you're new to this channel, please hit like and subscribe. And if you're returning back to me, thank you for your love and support. Now hit that like button. <laughs> if you would like to book a personal reading with me, I'll provide the link to the extended pinned at the top of the comments and also in the description box. And if you feel like this reading resonates with you and you want to know more about the energy surrounding your person and what's in your person's environment, I'll pin the link to the extended at the top of the comments and also in the description box. Universe Spirits and Guides, what we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. I am a Leo Virgo Cusper, by the way. What do we have for Virgo? What do we have for Virgo, please? And for those of you who have been trying to figure out my accent, the majority of you guys guessed correctly. Yes, I am from Boston, Massachusetts. I had no idea I had an accent until I started this channel, and I'm learning a lot about myself these days. <laughs> All right, enough of the preamble. Let's get this going. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, and let's do it. Let's rock this deck. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. At the bottom of your deck, we have the Page of Pentacles. Earth, Angie, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. You might have someone in your environment who wants to deliver an apology, or they want to offer you something small that could lead to something very big and long term. All right, this is a very practical energy. This is very um, grounded. It usually leads to a long term commitment or something, you know, very valuable. So again, this could be you or your person wanting to offer an apology, or they're coming at you wanting to offer you at least a small token that's going to at least grow possibly to the Ten of Pentacles. This is beautiful. All right, at the heart of the matter, we have the High Priestess. You could be dealing with a Pisces energy, but you don't have to be. You're trying to use your intuition right now. This week, you are going to be maybe practicing uh, doing intuitive exercises. Um, you're going to be just trusting your gut a little bit more or seeking out help from an intuitive person. There's going to be a lot of int intuition that's going to be playing a major factor in this week, all right? So this is you trusting your intuition or your person trusting their intuition or you just seeking out help from intuitive people. And we're all intuitive. Just some people don't trust their intuition as much as others. So there you go. And in your surrounding environment, we have the hangman, more Pisces energy. Some of you guys could definitely be dealing with a Pisces, but someone in your environment is feeling very stuck in a situation whether they're stuck in another connection and trying to get out of it to come towards you, or they're feeling like they want to offer you an apology, but they don't know how to express it, or they want to offer you a small offer that could lead to something big, but they're feeling stuck. So they're wanting to see the situation in many different perspectives, many different angles, all right? And in your blockage, we have the Three of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody is feeling a lot of pain from the past possibly and that's what's delaying this connection from moving forward or you had a falling out with somebody and they're wanting to offer you an apology but they feel like you're still upset with them you might be up a, you might be upset with somebody or somebody's upset with you and you're wanting to offer that apology but you're feeling unsure whether or not you should deliver it take it however that resonates so again it could be you're feeling pain but this person wants to offer you an apology, but they're feeling stuck. Or you're wanting to offer somebody an apology, but you feel stuck because you feel like they still are mad at you. Or somebody's wanting to offer you a relationship or a small gesture, but they don't feel like you're ready because you're still healing from the past or they're healing from the past. So take those four scenarios. That was four, right? In your foundation, we have judgment. Somebody could be definitely asking you for a second chance for a go. Somebody in your environment could possibly be wanting a second chance and wanting to deliver you an apology. They're all connecting, okay? This is Scorpionic energy. Or this is you wanting to ask for a second chance, or there's just a mutual reconciliation heading your way. Or this is Spirit saying you have to make a decision right now because the judgment is also about a call to action, needing to act. Shit or get out the pot, so to speak. All right, and in your recent past, Virgo, we have... The magician, in the past you were manifesting a love connection, or your person was. There was a lot of hopes and fear, oh, not fears, a lot of hopes and praying and just trying to manifest out into the universe a soulmate. You were wanting 
someone that could be a, an actual a strong companion, someone that you could always depend on, rely on. You wanted that soulmate energy. Someone that you didn't have to fear that they were talking to other people or seeing other people or you were just an option. You were manifesting that in your past or your person was. And on your mind right now is the Ten of Wands. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. You're wanting to release some burdens. That's what's on your mind right now. You're wanting to get out of a stressful situation. You're feeling a lot of heartache. You're feeling stuck. You're feeling like you don't have a direction. You're trying to manifest a new opportunity, but a new opportunity, but something didn't go your way. There was a hiccup, so to speak, and you're wanting to release those burdens. So maybe you're wanting to uh, allow someone forgiveness, or you're wanting to just say no to somebody who's wanting to reach out for a second chance or you're wanting to give someone a second chance so that you can get rid of that heartache, re re release that burden. But we'll clarify, okay? In your near future, we have the Six of Wands, Leo energy. Someone wants to restore balance. Sixes are all about balance, all right? So you could be meeting someone who gets a lot of attention or this person's a fire sign or this person sees that you are someone that they can have a successful relationship with and this is what's coming in your near future. You are releasing burdens and there's going to be some success heading your way and I love it for you Virgo, I really, really do. How you're being perceived? Wait a minute, is it that one or? Yeah. No, how you're perceiving, no, how you're being perceived right now, I'm sorry, the Queen of Swords. I had a brain fart, my, my bad. The Queen of Swords is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Right now, you are being very discerning. You're being very cutthroat with people because you've, you're moving on to releasing those burdens and you don't want to be dealing with any more toxic people or anybody that doesn't come at you correct. You are wanting to just accept only people who have high integrity, high morals, and offer high value. So whoever you dealt with in the recent past, they, they may have hurt you really badly and in your mind you're wanting to release those burdens and coming into your near future you have a lot of success your way and you don't want to lose that success so you're going to cut people out who are just doing nothing but taking from you and not adding value to your life. Now that you have that success, you're going to grip onto it tightly and no longer allow anybody to come at you and affect it. The Queen of Swords is very picky about who they date too. I feel like you worked hard to restore balance in your life or you you have someone that came in and you want that person to be truthful so that you guys don't ever lose that Six of Wands feeling. How you're perceiving your person, the Hermit, Virgo energy. This person could be at a distance from you in the near future and this, you're going to see this person being quiet, being wanting to be alone or they're thinking that you are being quiet and not wanting to engage with them. You might be giving off that energy that you don't want to deal with anybody because you've dealt with a lot of crap in the past. So this person might be seeing you as someone who's keeping their distance. You're kind of being standoffish perhaps. You're like, no, 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 no. So this is possibly how this person's seeing you, but you're also seeing this person like that too. It's like you both are assuming the other one doesn't want to communicate or talk. So you guys aren't communicating at all. In your hopes and fears, the Empress, Taurus, Libra energy. You're hoping that this situation is going to grow into a very beautiful thing. All right? It's still in its gestation period. It's still developing. So whoever you're going to be connecting to that's going to make you feel like the Six of Wands, there's still going to be some developing involved. So it's not going to be something that's going to be rushed. It's going to need time to develop. Possibly nine months. <laughs> but that was just because of the picture. So... If, if, you, if you think something's not going to take nine months and it could happen quicker. But there's something that you want to grow into something very beautiful and loving. And your possible outcome, the Knight of Wands, sign of Sagittarius. And your possible outcome, Virgo, you're going to feel very charismatic. You're going to feel alive. You're going to want to just go out and, you know, communicate with a lot of people, hang out with some friends you haven't seen for a while. And I know we're still doing that social distancing thing. So you might just grab a couple people that you know hasn't been traveling much. And you're just going to have a little, a little tight-knit community where you guys are going to just have a little cookout together. An intimate cookout. Where you guys are going to play some music. You're going to be learning how to use the bongos. Things like that. You're going you're gonna to get together with some friends during the hot summer month. 
All right, let's clarify, shall we? You have a soulmate coming in, Two of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This Six of Wands energy is connected to this Two of Cups. When the Six of Wands is here, that's something about restoring balance, someone being your equal. Sixes are all about equal reciprocity. With the Two of Cups, that's equal too. It's an equal level amount of emotion. You both are going to have the same amount of emotion for one another. It's not going to be one-sided. Look at that. You guys are going to be tight too. You guys could also be a different race too. But you guys are going to be so in sync. You guys are going to be so equal. It's going to be, look how balanced and even that is. One person's not going to love the other more. One person's not going to do all the, the legwork to get this relationship going and s sticking around. There's going to be equal reciprocity and this person's from your past life too. Can I clarify the, um, the Three of Swords? Can I clarify the Three of Swords, please? You're waiting, for, you're waiting for somebody. You're waiting for a commitment with somebody. Seven of Pentacles is Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But whenever I get the Seven of Pentacles, it says you're not waiting in vain. But right now, you're feeling broken. You're feeling anxious. You're feeling like you should give up on love. So you might be mentally distant from people with the Four of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You might be telling people, I need a break. The Four of Swords comes right after the Three of Swords, which is the card that I'm clarifying right now. After this hard time, you're going to want to take a mental chill. You're going to want to just shut off the world, maybe binge watch Lifetime movies or movies on Netflix, documentaries, go fishing, doing something that just rests your mind and it doesn't give you a lot of mental stimuli, all right, in order to come out fresh because you are wanting a commitment, but you feel like you were maybe you were hoping too much, you were manifesting too much, you were too focused on a commitment that you ended up like feeling drained mentally. So you're going to take a break and then you're going to come out of it wanting to release these burdens with the Ten of Wands energy. And then after you come out of that time of healing your mind, that's when that Six of Wands energy comes in and it could potentially lead to the Ten of Pentacles, which is Taurus Virgo Capricorn. You're waiting for a commitment from somebody. Whether you already know this person or this person's coming into your environment soon, you're waiting for a commitment. That's 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 basically the gist of it. You're wanting a commitment with somebody who's equal. You may not know this person yet or you're about to meet them very soon, but you are searching for commitment. You're not looking for one night stands. You're not looking for wham, bam, bang, thank you, ma'ams. Can I get um a card on the hermit? Why is Virgo's person seeing them as the why is Virgo's person being the hermit? Why is Virgo's person being seen as the hermit? Because they think you're going to be leaving them out in the cold. The Five of Pentacles with the Eight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Your person might be feeling like you're being standoffish with that Queen of Swords energy, and they're going to create their own anxiety and inadvertently put themselves out in the cold. Your person is going to inadvertently put themselves in the cold because they're going to stress out about you. Because you're going to not knowingly put off this vibe that you don't want to be dealing with anybody because you only want truth, truthful people around you. You don't want to deal with liars anymore or people who make you feel like this is going to lead to a commitment and then they just ghost. You're sick of that. So your person's going to get that vibe that you don't want them so they might go quiet and put themselves out in the cold. Eight of Swords is all about self-sabotaging. Your person is going to put themselves out in the cold and go into hermit mode because they think that you don't want them. Can I get two on the Queen of Swords? Can I get two on the Queen of Swords, please? Oh my God, the Nine of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You're giving off this vibe that you are not open to love. Even though you have this person coming in with the Six of Wands energy who wants to make, give you some, you know, to restore balance in your life, you're not trusting it with the Nine of Swords. So you might be up late at night watching tarot readings, looking at their social media or whatnot, and putting off that vibe that you don't want to be dealing with anything. This is a very anxious energy with the Nine of Swords. Queen of Swords on the bottom. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I'm clarifying the Queen of Swords and I got the Nine of Swords. You're, you might be scoping this person out and wanting to make sure that they're coming at you correct. But by you being so discerning, you might inadvertently put this, put this person away. Can I get a card on the Knight of Wands and their possible outcome? And then I'll get some Romance Angels. 
balance will be restored with the two of pentacles even though the two of pentacles is all about juggling decisions in this deck it's balanced out because of the apples are all the fruits balance on this cat's head balance will be restored but there will still be some mental mind games whether you're feeling defeated there is still a defeated energy coming up in your possible outcome because you're not trusting a situation for what it is you're not this person is going to feel like you don't want them and you're going to inadvertently defeat yourself with the five of swords but this person is the king of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn whoever you're going to be meeting who's going to restore balance is going to actually care about you but you're going to be so like ptsd about the past people that you're going to inadvertently push away someone really solid all right it doesn't have to Remember, free will. It doesn't have to be like that, though. You can change that. You can change that outcome. Can I get three romance angels? And if you resonate with this reading, I'll pin the link to the extended where I'll dive a little bit deeper into your person you're connecting to. Can I get three romance angels for Virgo, please? This person's worth waiting for. You need to forgive and learn from the past. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Oh my God, this is, this is it. You need to release anything from the past because you're inadvertently pushing away someone good. This person is worth waiting for. This person is your true love and make the effort. Virgo, that was your reading. Hit like, hit subscribe, share, share, share. The link to extend it's pinned at the bottom. But if you, uh, this is where I lose you. If you want, there's a link to my website, Bass Intuitive Tarot, where you can book a personal reading. I friggin' love you guys, but hit that subscribe button. Make an effort with this person. This person cares. You're getting the King of Pentacles. Don't push this person away, Virgo. If you're resonating with this, do not push this person away. All right, that was your reading. Later.